yeah hello everyone uh, my name is famous and I'm here again um, bringing you more information about how to do your visa applications yourself to whatever country you want to you want to go to so my uh, yes I'm the creator of this channel uh, so my purpose of this channel by now as you know is to give uh, free information on uh, immigration so for today's video i'm going to be talking about how to apply for a job uh, in canada if you are actually outside uh, canada i've done several videos i've uh, so uh, you will see some link uh, concerning some of uh, the different category on how you can immigrate to canada so you check those video out so for today's video is how to apply for a job offer outside canada we know by now that um, we have several category of a uh, visa uh, uh, to canada so uh, several category we have a provisional nominee programs we have express entry we have uh, we even have for um for those that wants to uh, entrepreneurship uh, uh, visas but what we're focused on now today is um let's just focus on how to apply for a job so because one of the major thing as an immigrant especially if you're working towards a, a permanent resident one of the major thing you need to get is to get uh, is to get uh, a job offer it boosts your point it boosts your uh, your up uh, your point it boosts your application point so the first thing you have to do is you want to apply to Canada. Once you have that intention, the dream of going to Canada, Canada, the first thing you need to do first is to write R E L T S. You have to write this R E L T S general. Now, since you're going for a job, you want to apply as a professional. You want to go to Canada to work, not to study. So you have to apply for R E L T S general. If you're applying for study, you have to apply for IETS uh, academics. So I haven't done a video yet. So if you see here, I said a video coming up. So I'm going to do a video on how to uh, how to make application, how to apply for this IETS general. So once you do that, then the next thing you need to do is to, to do your evaluation. You need to evaluate your credential your most recent credential you need to evaluate it if it's a phd if it's a bsc you need to evaluate it and there is a lot of evaluation uh, companies and uh, west is one of uh, the best so you could use west to evaluate your document for this one i already did a video uh, on how to um, apply for your west and how to uh, how to do your West yourself and I think the cost for West is about uh, two, 200, uh, 200 Canadian dollar 200 yeah 200 Canadian dollar so you check out the I have a video there you could check that video out but though I'm going to be posting most of these things I'm discussing I'm going to be posting it in the description link of this video because I noticed most of my videos I did I forgot to put those description links so for this one I'm going to be putting all this so that you could just click on there and you get this information yourself so that's number two you need to do a voice evaluation check out my video it will show you how step by step on how to do it then number three thing you need to do it's your curriculum vitae you need to do a standard cv you need to do a standard cv uh i, I have not done any video yet but I'm, in the future i'm gonna do one so i'll show you how to do a standard cv though there, there is this uh, there is this a lot of people say there is a, a canadian school uh, there is a canadian start, standard cv Another set of uh, YouTubers said there is nothing like Canadian CV, it's just a standard uh, CV. But I'm going to be doing a video to just show you at least a standard or Canadian uh, CV style on how your CV should look like. Then, uh, then for the CV, when you're doing this your CV, it, it has to contain keywords. So those keywords, because 
most time when you submit your, your a job application it's uh, it's not it's a just uh, it's a program that scan through your 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 cv and that pro that program it's what they are looking at they are looking for some keywords so the thing once if you do this cv it doesn't mean that that cv has to be uh, it has to be stagnant because definitely you're going to be applying for several jobs and there uh, um, and depending on the job each job will be uh, having its own job uh, description so what you'll be doing is in your CV, once you're applying for a new job, you will check your job the job description there, the one you know you fit into. Then you copy those job description, then you put it in your CV. You know, you just alter it a little bit, then you submit. So what I'm trying to say here, you do not submit one CV for 10 jobs. No, you have to look at the job description. You have to look at the job description then you have to adjust it at least so that uh, your your application could be successful then number 4 what you need to do you need to do a, you need to have a professional linkedin account it is in fact is one of the major key i have done a video on how to open a linkedin account so if you intend to apply for a job in canada you need a linkedin account and your linkedin account your details there should be strictly professional please do not put picture on uh, on how you and your girlfriend went for a date on, on or when you, you you were in the beach with uh, no 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 it has to be the the this uh, picture they have to be professional your language there your your verbiage they have to be strictly professional and from here definitely what you do once you create a linkedin account try to follow uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of companies so what you do is uh, follow up those companies that that uh, follow up those companies and uh, also write them and tell them that you 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 need a job so that's it linkedin is one of the way of getting a job so get uh, the professional linkedin account and uh, why the reason why i say get a professional linkedin account here is because the uh, the um, the employers are going to be looking at your cv because now this your linkedin details is going to be placed in your cv so once they see, because when they look at your CV, they look at you, there's a LinkedIn account, there is the correct email, this, this that, that, that. No, they will know that, oh, this person is competitive. We, we, I think we, 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 we could hire this person. Now, the purpose of this video is this job site. Now, for us to go to this job site, now, for the Canadian, uh, this is the official site for this is the official Canadian site. This is www.canadian.ca. This is the official Canadian uh, immigration site. So if you speak French, uh, those people from francophone country, people like Côte d'Ivoire and, and uh, Cameroon. So this is where you come. You come, you go through the content here, you, you know, you continue. Then those English speaking country, the Ghana, uh, Kenya, um, Nigeria, you come over here. This is the site for, this is the official site to come to first. So once you're starting your application, you come to this site first. You want to find that, you want, you want to play, you want to know what's up. You want to know what is at stake first before you begin your application. So, so you go through this application. There are places where they say job. See, they are job, they are job here. So you see, find the job. See, training, starting a business. This was what I was talking about, starting a business, entrepreneurship, a visa. So let's go to, let's come to immigrant and citizenship. You come to immigrant and citizenship. Mm, you just, you need to fiddle with the site. That's what I'm trying to say. Now here, let's say I go to immigrant. An immigrant, definitely you see express entry because as we know, we have a whole lot of visas, a visa cut. There, there's a whole lot of streams. There's a different ways by which you could travel, you could apply for a permanent resident in Canada. We have Express Entry, we have Provisional Nominee Program and every other program. You see over here, you see the Express Entry. You see the Express Entry, you... In the Express Entry, you see the whole instruction here that how Express Entry works. You need to know how it works. Then this is how it works. Then the first thing you need to do is find out if you are eligible. It's very important step on, find out if you're eligible. You go through this part, you go through it, if you're eligible, 
then if you are fine then get your document ready you see these steps are important you see most time people that travel abroad is not because uh, they have two heads it's because they put in a lot of work they do not uh, leave their application for just a travel agent to do it they take good they go through the extra mile to make sure that they find that information themselves and they follow the information they follow the information to the letter so that's how this thing works there is no cutting corners so find that if you're eligible if you have get your document ready you come over here you see all the documents you need then over here you say submit your application receive an invitation and apply for permanent entry this is just it this is just the step you need to take then the uh, we have others like this one uh, this is that's for express entry we have the atlantic immigration pilot programs this is the atlantic immigration pilot program yeah it is these are the instructions you just follow them you just follow the instruction this is the this is the program you read through it then um you just follow the instruction here and uh, uh, kudos and congratulations because uh, in the year 2021 2022 and 2023 canada will be uh, accepting of uh, 1.2 million uh, immigrants and this has been the highest i think for a very long time i think for over 50 years this has been the highest a uh, canadian has gone because they know the importance of uh, of immigrant because immigrant most of these people coming in they are they actually most of them definitely they they have some level of education and they they are the one that will actually build the economy because the thing is uh, i think most of canadian uh, 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 citizens they are already aging out so what they're trying to do they're trying to get uh, people into the workforce so we have express entry we have a uh, provisional programs because these are provisional nominee uh, provisional nominee programs these uh, uh these are uh, these are uh, i think they are employer driven also because this this immigration programs they are being controlled by the by the by the uh, by the provinces themselves not by the uh, not by the uh, i think not by the federal government also so all this uh, uh, the, the, that's that so our purpose of the video is how to get how to apply for jobs outside of canada so let's go back to our purpose now that's that's the site to to go to to go to then um the first site we'll go to we'll go to this job bank this job bank here this description i'm going to post it below so you could just go there directly so this uh, job bank so here is the job bank right now depends on your own your job so this is the job bank yeah so no no this is uh yeah this is indeed now let's start with indeed let's let's see that let's see that again sorry uh okay let me just copy it here so that you can see how i did it so it doesn't look like a magic so copy then you paste you just copy from that uh, you, you paste it there then also i think if you're eligible okay okay it just it's the same thing i was talking about just now if you're eligible oh that same site so that's where you get it that site you okay that's the, the site then this uh, the next thing is indeed.com you go to indeed.com so this is actually indeed.com we're already here so we don't need to waste time so it depends on your job if you if you uh, let's say how many uh, truck truck driver so you come here truck driver then also uh, your province what province are you applying for let's say i'm applying Mm, Labrador. That's where I want to go. What's this? Okay. Why is it keep insisting that? No, I don't want it. Please. Let me search for the copy. Let's see. This is it. I don't know why this is just happening. I don't want it. Why? Right. 
so okay you sign me in okay yeah definitely they will want you to sign in so for indeed oh sorry they will want you to sign in so already i think i have an account with indeed so they want you to sign in so why they want you to sign in so that anytime indeed has a, a job offer that has to do with your job description they, they will always send you um they will send you a notice so you need to have a valid uh, email uh, address so let's say i'm applying as a truck driver i'll come here then i want to apply for that job in labrador i'll come here labrador city then i go i say find a job then this these are the different jobs now when you come here you have to go through this content very well you don't have to rush when was this job posted uh, seven months to less than a year so this one was uh, 30 days ago this one eight this one job was posted eight days ago this job was posted 12 days ago so you just see the different um, these jobs here then let's say i want to apply for this tow truck driver now now this is it you go through the content carefully you see doc uh, we need secondary school graduate certificates that's what they need uh, so they need the doc uh, documentation knowledge uh, accident report blah 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 you need to know how to prepare document so special skills and all that so this is what i was saying now these are what they want from this truck driver so when you're preparing your cv to apply for this job you need to make sure that some of these skills they're looking for for yeah don't just put any skill you feel like you you know or you have don't just put it yeah we know you have several skills most of all we have a lot of skills that we don't even know we have so as a truck driver i'm going to say okay now this is what they want uh, i need to know how to make report can i do report mm, yeah i'll copy here i'll go i'll drop it in my cv they say a driver log so you try to make sure that uh, the skills they need here it's what is going to be in your in your your skill set that you have in your cv because most of this cv once you submit it it's going to go through a system so the system are going to be looking for keywords so it is just keyword based on those keywords then you you will be called so you have to adjust each of your cv now if i'm applying for this one i have to make sure this skill set are in that cv took this cv a little then apply on their side then if i'm applying for this job this one here you see it's a different thing so this are the duty now i have to make sure i tweak my cv a little bit to suit this uh, company and also send a second cv not the previous one with this one no it's different that if i'm applying for this class one job i have to read through the content the requirement if i meet any of this requirement then i have to adjust a little bit tweak it then send so if i'm applying for these three jobs so i have to uh, adjust my cv three times then send to them that's what i meant and i said uh, your cv you just have to make sure it's uh, it's 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 okay so i'm going to do an uh, elaborate video on how to make a cv so for the indeed that's how it works so that's the site for the indeed so there's not this is it you go to the site if you want to apply for the job directly you go to their site so once you go to their site yeah voila you're there now these are the details so this is the job site this is it now then from there you have to apply but one thing i will encourage you you do is before you do any application i will advise you to to pick up the uh, if they have a email direct email or they have a phone number uh, you know i will advise you to you know get in touch with the company first if they if they are accepting a uh, uh, view details if they are accepting applicant from uh, from from uh, if they can accept immigrants if they can accept somebody that is not already in canada so you need to know first so that you won't be dropping cv uh, everywhere waiting for 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 interview and you don't get uh, and you feel disappointed if they don't call you no find that from them first what they want if they are ready to accept you if they are ready to wait for you to come to canada 
If they are not, you go, you go get another, you go, you go for, well, for another job. Then that is for indeed. Then this is worker police. Worker police, you come here. Think uh, worker police, you come here now. Now, now this is same worker police. Let's say now I say caregiver. I'm applying as a caregiver here. This is it. Uh, new, let's say we love, we seems we love uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. I want to say New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Now I want to apply for care given in New Brunswick. I just apply for job is the same thing. Look at the estimated salary $55,000 to $73,000. Oh, that's good money. So, this at the job description. So, as, as a nurse, you need to read through this. Uh, as I said, find out uh, from them if they are accepting uh, immigrants people from abroad if they can afford to wait for you now you see the these are different jobs the pay everything it's all here so you say apply if you get your email or phone number you call them directly so you, it's, it's the same process you come here apply you see then you just uh, finish up with the process Okay, you finish up with the process. I think that's that. Let's continue now. Then for this other one, it's uh, you uh, you copy it and you. So uh, I think I was doing almost the work here. So this is why it's the same thing. New Brunswick, Quebec. Let's say Quebec. Let's say Granby. Oh, let's just pick one here. Uh, pick one. Uh, you see, you see, we go. Now we go. Oh, this is pure French. I don't speak French, so okay. English. So this is it. Uh, these are jobs. Okay, we have care, a child care, construction, cannabis sector, healthcare, programming. All the jobs you need, they are here. So you, mm, general labor, you come here. You, yeah. Voila, we are here again. These are the details. You just go to this your site. You have to go to their site to apply for the job. You confirm. Then you 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 just follow the instruction. Follow the instruction. Then if you have to tweak your CV, yes, you have to tweak your CV to to adjust to their to their to their requirement. Then we also have this one. We also have this one. Just, uh, I think the the, the major um, job sites are basically indeed this indeed people a lot of people so here you just uh, you put in your uh, let's say sign in as uh, it's uh, 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 Facebook we sign in with Facebook so you what job let's say mm, medical medical assistant who's the uh, nova scotia nova scotia nova scotia nova scotia nova scotia okay let's see halifax so here yeah, you just follow the teacher you just follow the instruction here so that's it you follow the instruction it, it's easy everything here is just easy so that's how you you do it so job bank um this is uh, indeed uh, uh worker police uh kijiji then uh this uh, glass uh glass door so these are the major sites where you could apply for a job so number one you make sure all these details they are okay you try to reach out to the uh to the uh to the uh to, to those that are uh, those uh, the employer first seek them out first try to call them or email them if they do accept uh, uh, um, if they would accept application from uh, someone outside of canada so that was you should do first then uh, so that's what i wrote here email or call them if they are, uh, uh, accept job from someone outside canada you apply then after your application it, once they say yes we apply then it's it's important after your application also do a follow-up um, call that okay you've applied and all that i mean you know you be, be just be nice 
to do a call that you applied that you'll be expecting to hear from them then they will know of course that definitely you you you, you really want you really want to work you're ready to work then then you have to be patient also do not just be anxious do not keep calling them one email or one call is just fine so you have to wait patiently and get ready for interview yeah you need to start learning be expectant expect that interviews are going to come so be patient get ready for interview learn on how to take interviews also if it's okay if you have to do a dummy interview do a dummy interview get all your documents all your credentials get them ready get your IATS just get it ready make sure that your west make sure everything is tick 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 so that you know you just have to be competitive because just the way you are applying for a job there are also all that people are applying for a job so and the race definitely is for they will give it to who they think fit is the best candidate for the job so and this is it uh i hope i've been able to um again uh had value to someone if you had for a question or you could leave it in the comment um also you could also email me you could also email me so you could email me at the famous famous vlogs famous vlog at gmail.com you could email me here at famous vlog at gmail.com or at this email if you have questions or you want me or there are specific videos you want me to do so videos will be coming up uh IATS how to register for it i'll be doing that then this is how to do a, a canadian cv then i'll be doing that then you could also check out my video on uh on uh, how to apply step by step how to apply for ways and then linkedin so i'm going to be dropping all those videos down in the description uh, uh, below so thank you for your time i hope i've been able to um at least help someone uh, give someone a clear direction on how to apply for a job outside canada so hope to see you in my subsequent videos so uh bye bye for now